Hey everyone, it's Daniel, Brother Brett Barris. In this video, I'm going to be integrating Microsoft Deployment Toolkit into my Mechum environment. I'm running a Windows Server 2025 standard. If you follow along with my videos, you probably set it up the way I have. I'm using the newest ADK, which is from December, with the WinPE add-on. I'm using Microsoft SQL Server 2022 with Cumulative Update 17 and Microsoft Configuration Manager version 2409 with the newest hotfix installed. What we're going to do is we're going to download the newest version of Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, which is 8456. We'll be installing a patch for that. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, do a bunch of fixes that will allow you to deploy using MDT. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some folders. Now, if you followed along with my videos, you know how my uh, drives are laid out. I have a file share and then our content library on our iDrive. You can change these. I'm creating a Microsoft Deployment Toolkit folder in our share, a SQL Report Viewer in our share, and an MDT Task Sequences folder in our, on our content library. So what you'll do is you'll copy this. You can either click in the terminal here or right click on Start, Terminal Admin, Paste, and your folders should be created. MDD task sequences. In our share, we'll have Microsoft Deployment Toolkit as well as SQL Report Viewer, okay? I'm gonna open up Edge for the taskbar. I'm gonna go up here to the settings, go to downloads, and make sure that ask me what to do with each download is on, okay? I'm gonna create a new tab, and I'm going to go to this site, so you can copy that. Paste it here, and you'll see Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, our newest version, 8456. Click on Download. We're going to select the 64-bit version. Click download again. Save as. We're going to go to our H drive, Share, and we'll go to our Microsoft Deployment Toolkit folder and click Save. Okay. Once that's done, give that a moment. We'll click Open File. You'll see this here. Next, I accept the terms of the license agreement. Next, next. I don't want to join the program at this time. Next, and install, okay? And just click Finish. We're good to go there. Now you can highlight this here. This is our hotfix we're gonna be configuring. You'll see Windows 10 deployment fails with Microsoft Deployment Toolkit on computers with BIOS type firmware. Just scroll down a little bit on the page. You'll see download this update now. Click here, okay? If you're following along, we're down here, okay? We're gonna click Save As, same folder, save. We'll click here to show in folder. I'm going to shift, right click on that, 7-zip. I'm going to click Extract here, click Close, and you'll see two folders here. You can Shift and right-click that, Delete, hold down Shift key so that it doesn't go to your recycle bin, and you're good to go there. Now we're gonna download the newest version of BG Info because in the same folder that we're replacing this with, there's older versions of BG Info, and I think the newest version is, yeah, 4.33. So what we'll do is we'll click on Download BG Info. Okay, we're down here. So save as, save it to the same folder. We'll click Show in Folder. I'm gonna shift and right click that so I can see 7-zip. I'm gonna click Open Archive. The BG Info executable, I'm gonna click Extract, three dots. I'm gonna go down back to this folder and I'm gonna choose the x86 folder, which is 32-bit. Okay, okay. Now we'll click the 64-bit one, extract, three dots here, go down to the same folder and choose the 64-bit. Okay, 
and close. And if you look in here, you'll see we have BG info and the DLL files. Same thing for the 32 bit. We could now shift, right click on that, delete, hold down shift while you click delete. There you go. Okay. And now we're going to go here and get our SQL report viewer. You can, all right, there we go. Click on download, save as. We'll go to our share to SQL report viewer folder that we created. Click save. We'll go down here at the bottom. You'll see related resources. And you'll see these two SQL sys CLR types, okay? We're gonna click on the x86 one first. You'll see this MSI can't be downloaded, but just click on the three dots, click keep, keep anyway, save as. We're going to add here x86 so we can distinguish between our 32-bit and our 64-bit. Click on the 64-bit version, three dots, keep, keep anyway, save as, and the same thing. We're gonna add it underscore x64, there we go. We'll click on show in folder. You're following along, we're right here. We're gonna click on our x86, our 64 version. Next, I accept, next, install. Finish, same thing with the x86 version. Next, I accept, next, install. And we're down here, we'll install a report viewer. Next, I accept, next, install. And Finish, there we go. Now what we'll do is we'll go to our uh, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit folder. We're going to click, then hold down Control and click that one there. Then we'll hold down Control and press the C button to copy. We're gonna go to the C drive. We'll go to our Program Files directory, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. We'll go down to Templates, Distribution, Tools. We'll click on the screen here and click Control V and replace the files in the destination. Do this for all current items, continue. And now we've replaced those files. We can close Explorer and we can close Edge now. Okay, now we're gonna do some fixes for some files. Okay, so just type Notepad. Now, I usually use Notepad++, but you don't have to. I'm gonna use Notepad, so run as administrator, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fix our server manager XML file. There are a few uh, problems with that. You'll see that the role display name, fax server, sh it should not say DNS, it should say fax. Uh, we're gonna fix that. So on a certain operating system, if you actually selected fax server, it would install DNS. Same thing here, HTTP errors. Uh, the S is missing from the end of errors and the G is missing from the end of publishing, okay? So we're gonna fix that. And it's in two of the files. So copy this, file, open. Go ahead and control V to paste that, open. We're going to go to edit, replace, we'll copy this line here, control V to paste, control C to copy, control V to paste, replace all, there we go. We'll do this second one here, control C, we can highlight that, delete, control V to paste, do the same thing here. Control C, delete that, Control V, replace all. And the last one, publish in with publishing, fix that. Just like this. And Control V to paste, replace all. We'll close this window, click File, Save. We're also going to overwrite the second one. So copy that, save as, 
control V to paste that save. Yes. And we're good on that file. Now, if you look here, there's a, uh, we're fixing the VB support. Okay. With the ADK. So Johan showed us how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to create a, a folder because the 32 bit, uh, portions of the windows PE environment are no longer there, which MDT needs. We're just going to create, it's actually just looking for this folder. So we'll copy this, paste it. It'll create that folder. You press exit. Here's a second one here. Okay. We're going to, uh, using MDT 8456 with the ADK 23H2, but the, uh, same fix is uh, integrated in the newer versions. You'll see that it now added the real platform, uh, whereas before it was just uh, one platform, okay? So we're gonna go here, copy this line, file, open, control V, paste. You'll see that line right here, okay? Now you can either do what I did, which is find what, replace with, or you can just copy this line, here, control V to paste to replace that line. You'll see that now it adds that real platform, file, save, and you're good there, okay? Now this one here is just a uh, the MS HTML fix, which caused MDT to crash, and this is straight from Microsoft. So they showed us how to fix that, and we're going to change the unattend PEX64 XML by adding uh, this variable here, this registry key, okay? And it fixes that. So let's go to line 253, copy, file, open, control V to paste. You'll see this. I'm gonna highlight from the end of unattended all the way up because we're gonna replace the entire file, okay? So just copy all the way to 258 from 282. You can click up here, control V, it'll paste, file, save and that overwrites that here's a 2022 and 2025 bit locker fix and what happened was um mdt 8456 was made before these two operating systems came out so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to use the fix provided by clang 89 which is here, we're going to just be remarking out these lines, which check if it's a supported OS. Okay, so we'll go here to the end, file, copy, open, control V to paste. We're gonna go edit, find, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for this line that says check to see if BDE is supported in this OS. Paste that there, find next, and you'll see it here. So remember, we're just gonna be commenting out these lines. So you can comment, copy from right about there to there, and we'll copy out this line here. We'll replace that whole thing. Click in the title bar, control V, it'll paste those there, file and save, okay? Now this other one Johan did is just to clean up because uh, sometimes you get this unable to create web service class and it's just a warning, but you know, we want to make it look nice, right? This is just a cosmetic thing because we don't like a yellow summary, right? And thanks to Johan for that. So what we'll do is we'll file, open, control V to paste, edit, find. We're going to look for that of unable to create web service class. Warning, find next. You'll see the line here. And all we're going to do is we're going to click here and we're going to add a single quote and a space, file, save, and that's pretty much it for that line, okay? You see that here. We can close Notepad. We're now going to open up Configuration Manager because we need to make sure that we can allow uh, console extensions that are approved for the hierarchy. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna uncheck that box. So let's go to Administration. We're gonna expand Site Configuration. We'll click on Sites. And up here, you'll see hierarchy settings, click on that. And you'll see only allow console extensions that are approved for the hierarchy. You can click there, click apply, okay, 
and we can close Configuration Manager. Now I'm going to click Start. I'm going to type Configure Config Manager Integration, and you'll see it come up here. Okay, so this comes with MDT. So we're going to click Run as Administrator. You'll see it here, install the MDT extensions for Configuration Manager. Make sure your site code and your site server name are there. Everything looks good to me. So click Next. Make sure that operation completed successfully. We're verifying. Click Finish. There we go. Now this is what would cause um, Mechum to crash when you tried to create a new um, task sequence with MDT. So I'll show you uh, what this does. It's because HTTPS or enhanced HTTP should be enabled for client communication. And we know that HTTP only is deprecated, okay? You can see that here. HTTP only communication is deprecated and support is removed from this version of Configuration Manager. So enable HTTPS or enhanced HTTP for the client communications. So these two files that we're about to fix still have HTTP in them. So we're going to fix that. Okay, so click here, start, type notepad again. We're going to click run as administrator, file, open. And the first one here is wherever you installed your configuration uh, manager, which I installed on my D drive. So it's uh, admin console, XML storage, extensions, forms, and then you'll see these two files, the XML files. Click open, okay? You can see here that uh, this still has HTTP here, right? So I'm just gonna go edit, replace HTTP with HTTPS, replace all, we can close that. Save, and then I'll open the second file, which is down here. Copy, paste, open. Same thing. I can actually just, I see it right there. I could do a replace if I wanted to, just like this, replace all. There it goes. And save. Okay. We close that. And we close the replace one, close notepad. We can now open up Configuration Manager. We can click on Software Library. We can go to Operating Systems, Task Sequences, and you can see Create MDT Task Sequence here. And if I click that now, there we go. No crashes, and you can set up your MDT Task Sequence. That's pretty much it for this video. And in the next video, we'll actually set up our uh, operating system images, our boot image for MDT. We'll set up a task sequence for MDT, and I'll set up UDI so that we have a nice uh, GUI when we install that will ask us for our computer name. We'll uh, configure our BG info for during the task sequence, and then we'll deploy an image. Windows 11, maybe Windows 10 and a server 2025. And I'll see you in the next video.